Jessie from Nail the NZ and today I am doing some Finding Dory nails. Me and my husband went and watched Finding Dory at the movies a couple of days ago and it was so funny and so good. I was in hysterics twice and just trying to calm myself. It was great. Um, and yes, yeah, so I figured I'll do some nails based on it. I hope you like them. I have tried to make them relatively easy. Um, the thumb's quite complicated obviously but the rest of it isn't too bad. Thank you for watching, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, I have two new videos every week. Leave me a comment down below if you've got any nail art requests and I'll see you later. Right, the main lady herself first, Dory is on the index finger. After a base coat, paint your nails with a medium blue and then we'll start the art with a black polish. This is basically copying the curves and colours of Dory's markings and the black is mostly on the right side of the nail. Make sure you get the teardrop shape bit in the middle and leave some space for the yellow fin at the end. Fill in that part white for now so the yellow will stand out really brightly soon and then fill in the top left side of the nail with dark blue as well as the teardrop. Next just fill in the yellow. I was going to leave it there but decided to add in the other thin which you can see I have done in much the same way. Clean up around your cuticles and then apply a top coat. Nemo nail next, paint the whole nail white and then use a thin nail art brush to paint on lines, with one of them being a bit curvy. Paint orange into every second space on the nail until it's looking something like this. If you want to touch anything up, now's a really good time to do that and then just clean up and apply a top coat. This next nail is probably my favourite but leave me a comment down below letting me know which nail you like best. So it's much easier than it looks. Paint your nails medium blue and help them to dry faster by using a quick dry top coat. Once it's dry, paint dark blue, medium blue and white onto a sponge and dab them on your nail, moving your hand up and down slightly to blend them. This will create a gradient that resembles the ocean. I forgot to apply a Simply Peel or Liquid Palisade, so I had a bit of a nightmare cleaning this up, but I got there in the end, just using nail polish remover and a brush. Next, use white polish to design your coral reef. I made this mostly at the bottom and sides of the nails so that the middle would show how big the ocean is and how much Dory has to search. Then go in with your colours. I use brown, pink, green, red, orange and yellow. Use a colour that matches the background to add more detail after you've done that. Add a top coat and on to the pinky. This nail was one I actually redid because I first did shells and it turned out kind of average. I went for this blue base colour and a super sparkly glitter by Picture Polish instead, called Splash actually, which suited the theme very well. Once you're happy with how it looks, apply a top coat and we're on to the last nail. Start it off the same as the ring nail, create an ocean gradient. Then use a small brush and white polish to carefully paint on the logo from Finding Dory. This can be a bit tricky, but if you take your time and do it in steps, it isn't too bad. Use the blues from the background to erase any mistakes and find up all the details. Then we're going to do the same thing as with the other nail, create some bright coral. So just do the same as before and then once you've done that, apply a top coat. And that's these Dory nails done. I would love to see your recreations of this so make sure you share them with me on social media. All my links are down below. Subscribe to my channel to see heaps more nail art. Thumbs up and thank you so much for watching. Today's video is called Do Acrylics Ruin Your Nails? And the answer is basically yes and no. It's not the actual acrylic that ruins your nails, it is the improper application and improper removal that messes your nails.